Pontiac Grand Prix 1988-96. The first front-wheel drive W-body Grand Prix coupes were built in October 1987, and released on January 12, 1988, for the 1988 model year. This generation Grand Prix was built in Kansas City, Kansas. The Grand Prix was introduced as base, the and say coupes. All featured GM's MPFI 2.8 liters V6 that made 130 horsepower, 97 kilowatts, and 170 pounds feet, 230 Nm, of torque. A 5 speed manual or a 4 speed automatic were the transmissions offered. The LA was well equipped with power windows and door locks and a digital dashboard with an analog tachometer. Same models upgraded with power front seats with multiple lumbar, side bolster, side wing adjustments, an AM slash FM cassette stereo, and a trip computer and compass located in the center of the dash. Some models of this generation have the rare feature of a split front bench seat with a column shifter. Another unique feature only found on the Grand Prix is the combination lock for the glove box, rather than a key. Grand Prix was Motor Trend's car of the year for 1988. A host of changes upgraded the Grand Prix for 1989. Air conditioning was standard, and the 2.8 liters was replaced by GM's new 3.1 liters MPFI V6 that produced 140 horsepower, 100 kilowatts, midway through the model year. For 1989, the 3.1 liters was only mated to a 4-speed automatic transmission, while the remaining 2.8 was mated to either manual or automatic transmissions. A new trim level was offered for 1989, a limited edition turbo coupe that featured an ASC slash McLaren turbocharged version of GM's 3.1 liters V6, only 749 were produced. Output was 205 horsepower, 153 kilowatts, 65 more than the previous year. A 4-speed automatic was the only transmission offered. The coupe was in same model with body work such as hood louvers and extra body cladding which would be the most controversial design element in the years to come. The interior featured more equipment, and only seated four, in contrast to the Liz 5 seats. The full analog gauges would become the 1990-93 sports cluster, and the basis for the new instrument cluster to replace the digital cluster for 1990. In 1990, the base model was dropped in favor of a sedan version replacing the 6000 which ended production the next year in the Canada-only Tempest, entering production on September 12, 1989. A notable introduction for the Grand Prix in 1990 is the new STE, Special Touring Edition, which replaced the SDE model of the Pontiac 6000. In contrast to that model, it trades in all-wheel drive for the available turbo 3.1 liters V6. Standard features include a cassette stereo with equalizer and 8 speakers, a compact disc player was optional, remote keyless entry, 8-way power driver's seat with multiple lumbar and siding adjustments for both front seat occupants, and a compass, trip computer that was more informative than the units in the Say and Turbo Coupes. Endless sedan was also available for 1990, standard with a 2.3 liters quad 4 engine and a 3-speed automatic the first use of an inline four-cylinder engine in a Grand Prix. The 2.8 liters V6 engine was discontinued, while the 3.1 liters engine gained widespread availability in a standard five-speed manual transmission. For 1991, the Grand Prix Turbo Coupe was replaced by a new GTP version. This model sported a 3.4 liters Dock V6 that produced 210 horsepower, 160 kilowatts with a 5-speed manual transmission or 200 with the optional 4-speed automatic. Inside, the GTP was essentially the same as the turbo. One notable exception was the available optional heads-up display only shared with the Cutlass Supreme. The exterior used many quad headlamps, along with all other Grand Prix coupes, GTP Grand Prix and 24 valve V6 badges. The STE Turbo was replaced by a 3.4 liters STE and could be ordered with the automatic transmission or manual transmission. For the Say Coupe, the B4U package featured GTP bodywork and aluminum wheels. And Say Sedan also became available and featured SDE-like styling at a lower price. 
the La Coupe was discontinued for 1991. Anti-lock braking system, ABS, is optional on all models for 1992, the 2.3-liters quad-four engine was dropped, and the Le Sedan gained the say, SDE front light bar. Most Le Sedans ordered for rental fleets had full power options. A special edition only for 1992 was Richard Petty edition of only 1,000 units. This edition featured a special red, white or blue paint, the 210 horsepower Chevy LQ1 3.4 liters dock, special badging featuring Richard Petty's signature, special wheel well and ground effects, spoiler, Richard Petty black and white center caps, transmission shift modification which allowed a button for second gear start or normal use, combination locking glove box, blue paint on the inner web on wheel matching exterior paint, and fan appreciation tour badging making it one of the rarest Grand Prix ever produced. This was the last year of the old style before you body kit. There was a special edition model with metallic green paint, as well as gold wheels and pinstriping. It was also the last year that a manual transmission could be ordered as an option. This was also the last year for the style of the dashboard used 1988 to 1993.